Boys and girls, welcome to a new series we're starting on the channel. Today we have Call of Duty 2. I technically played this game before I played the last games we played, which was the Call of Duty 1 and United Offensive Expansion Pack and my career in Call of Duty. But if we're being super duper technical, my first game ever was Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1 for the PlayStation 2, which stay tuned, that'll be the next game we play in this series. But enough yapping, I know why you guys are here. If you're excited for this series, like and sub down below because I do intend to post quite a bit of this content to the channel. But let's hop into the action. 1939, the armies of Nazi Germany begin their conquest of Europe. First of all is Poland, then Denmark, Norway, France, Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. Now the year is 1941. With an army over 7 million strong, the Nazi war machine turns to the east and begins the invasion of the Soviet Union. Using blitzkrieg tactics, they advance quickly, smashing relentlessly through the Soviet defenses and arrive at the capital city of Moscow in under four months. Desperately short of reinforcements, the Soviet defense of Moscow now falls to thousands of raw recruits who must hold out against the well-trained German forces in the freezing cold of the Russian winter. Welcome to basic training, comrades. If you wish to survive, you will do exactly as I say. Now, walk over to that table and pick up those weapons. All right, and we're in. This might be a little bit weird because YouTube might not like the fact that they used actual war footage from the military channel. That might run into a problem for me specifically. You will have to move faster than that, comrade. You will need a real weapon if you wish to kill the fascists. Look at your compass. The star on the compass shows the location of your current objective. Now go to the storeroom and get a pistol and a rifle. Move! Wow, we get a pistol and a rifle in this mission. Our first Soviet mission in the last game gave us nothing except bullets. On the table, Very cool, thank Good. you. Now go back and report to the commissar. Will do, dude. Thank you. Very good, comrade. Always remember to use the star on your compass to reach your current objective. Okay, Vasily. Let us see how good your aim is. Aim for one of those two teddy bears. Good, now fire at the other one. Reverse my controls, no thank you. Pistols and submachine guns might be good for short range, comrade. But for long range targets, a rifle is better. Wheel up or wheel down. There we go, all right. To the shooting range. I'm here, man. Ready, comrades? Shoot those bottles and plates. Imagine that they are the enemy. I'm just glad we fixed the uh, insanely In small Mosin reticle. You will be much more accurate that way. I'm sorry, am I not aiming down my not sight? Bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Very good, comrades. That's enough, Vasily. Now, let's see how well you can do under pressure. You have 15 seconds to shoot the helmets. Ready? Go! I'm on M and K. This is literally so freaking easy. Except for the fact that I have to reload. I am the shroud of shooting helmets. Good, comrade. Now come over here and bash this mannequin with your rifle. I think it's funny how he said good after I missed the shot. Alright, clip approach the glowing mannequin, mouse four to strike the mannequin. That's it up, comrades. Come over here and pick up a grenade. Comrade Camisa, these, these are potatoes. Why are we using potatoes instead of real grenade? Because real grenades are valuable. In fact, they are worth a lot more than you are. Oh, uh, of course, Comrade Commissar, my, my mistake. Now throw a potato into each of those marked target areas. Throw a potato. Hold G or middle mouse. All right, we're, we're learning my keybinds as we go. I also can't see what I'm aiming at because the prompt is on screen. Can you please get off? Good throw. Well done. Good throw. Thank you. Appreciate Commissar! it. Commissar! We've got a prisoner. Come take a look. All right, so the... I just realized this guy never moved. You okay, Victor? You're okay, yeah, you're fine. I'm coming, bro, I'm coming. Uh, 
Arsch. Halt! Hören Sie auf! Bitte töten Sie mich nicht! Unsere Truppen um Kommt Kommissar he says the enemy is moving. Wie hide our lines. Und, und to the southeast. Get a thumbnail. And they are supported by half tracks and mobile artillery. Sir, there's a German attack forming to the southeast. It looks serious. Listen, comrades. There is an armory to the east in the basement of a house. Go there and load up on ammunition and supplies. I will stay and take care of our guest. Remember what you have learned. Good luck. All right, let's go. I would like to throw out a shout out that this game is infinitely easier to record and re record and play than the first game. I can actually play this game full screen and in 1920 by 1080, which was not the case with uh, Call of Duty One. However, they did take our sidearm away from us. Because in the uh, COD 1 and United Offensive, you could just have a pistol and two primaries, but in this game, they didn't give you that option. You just have two weapons. This is where the Call of Duty 2 weapon thing started. As far as training missions go, this one's actually not that bad. It is a much better training mission. Actually, it's actually su super similar to the one in the next game, COD 3. It's just you're an American in the COD 3 one. But like I did say, I'm just glad they fixed the tiny-ass reticle for the Mosin in this game. The Mosin reticle was comically small. And unfortunately, it's one of those situations where size does matter. Shoot the red barrel, brothers. Yeah, he's gone. He dead. Oh, you're nading it? My bad. Oh, I took your thunder. Could just open it. But, uh, not that that's me saying I didn't enjoy the first Call of Duty in the expansion pack. They were fun. They were good. Don't get me wrong. But, uh, as far as being a content creator goes, my oh my, did playing that game take motivation to set up to record those episodes. I had to play the game in, uh... The base game I had to play in 1600 by 900 windowed mode in order to get it to work for me. And then the expansion pack wouldn't even go to 1600 by 900. I had to play the expansion pack in, like, 1280 by... 724 or something stupid like that it was a really weird resolution i had to play in explosive barrels are explosive don't hide behind them dummies i need to change my crouch button to toggle because i'm tired of standing up and getting hit by bullets when i don't want to but i'll do that between episodes so um, what's my grenade button? Nah. We still can't cook grenades, though, so that sucks. We don't get that ability to uh, Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1. I'm on it, bro. Trust me. I got it. My God, I thought we were in training. There is no better training, comrade, than fighting to survive. 